Well, I think I, I think that that's certainly where I find myself as well, just like sort of, you know, having been raised a Catholic and then feeling that it was, um, I just wanted to learn more about it. And I think it's something that you said in the beginning of our show today was like these stories and, and the, the lasting impact of these stories. And I think that a lot of what I got from uh, high school education that was was really good in terms of like what is in the world, you know, but I always felt that there was a lacking um, teaching of how to be in the world or what to do in the world, how to act in the world, you know, and I think that's why I've been really called to um, to religious studies. Um, and uh, I haven't necessarily been able to find my way into one specifically, um, but I, I think there's a, there's a there's so much to take from these ideas because I think these are the most fundamental questions that human beings have been grappling with ever since we became sentient almost, like what the hell is going on and what should we do and what's right and what's wrong? You know, first figure out know, how, how things work and then figure out what you're going to do about that. Mm. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. The ongoing process, I think. So, and I think it's, it's very important too, yeah. you know, I was talking about a teacher and I think it's also a very important thing to find somebody, at least one person, maybe more, who has sort of got it right. Mm. They may not have it all right. And, and you know, I've... Uh, uh, you know, I was mentioning earlier that, you know, some of those rational people that I know hold beliefs that I find really silly. Uh, I was I was thinking in particular of, of one of my teachers uh, who was a Tibetan Lama. Uh, and it was one time we were driving uh, from one place to another in Virginia. And it started uh, it started to get to dusk. And uh, and he said, well, we have, we have to find a hotel. And I was like maybe four o'clock was during the winter. I said, why? It's only four o'clock. You know, we still have, we, we could get there in a couple of hours. And he said, well, it's getting dark. And I said, yeah. And he said, so the, there are going to be spirits out. Really? I said, okay. <laughs> so we found a hotel at like 4.30 in the, in the afternoon. Well, we could have got to our destination. Wow. We'd driven a couple more hours. Uh, and this was a guy who trained in, in logic and debate and so forth. Uh, and, you know, was very rational in, in what he taught about and how he viewed the world. But there were these, you know, aspects of his worldview that to me, you know, were easily disconfirmable, but uh, they were very real to him and, and, you know, motivated his actions. So it's not that your teacher has to be perfect in all respects and we're all going to have flaws, but finding somebody who lives life sort of the way you, you would like to be able to do it yourself, who is able to teach you effectively, that's really important. And having this sort of objective feedback and somebody, you know, who sort of enters, you enter into that relationship with them. Mm -hmm. where you know they operate as a teacher and you as a student and, and both usually get something from this relationship that is you know teachers get something from teaching and students get something from learning and so that kind of personal relationship that's often you know a long-term sort of thing with both is really important if you if you're serious about uh, getting into this into the practice